you want to tell us what we're doing or do you want me to do it? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Hey, I'm good. Um, uh, we're going to tell you what's in the ice chest. Yeah, so we just went up to tell Keaton back and Joe sent out this ice chest for us. It looks a little creepy. <laughs> That's bear meat. Okay. Our nuisance bear that was tearing apart the root cellar. So it is no longer a nuisance. And Zach's going to be cutting up meat today. And we're going to put it in the freezer. By now you've already seen the video Joe put out about the bear and the issues they were having. Um, you know, we might get bad feedback on YouTube saying, why would you shoot a bear? multiple reasons why you would shoot a bear. Number one, it's 100% legal. Number two, it was a nuisance. It was tearing into personal property. So by rules of the Department of Fish and Game, um, we could have just reported it and not even harvested the meat, but we don't waste anything. That's not the way we were raised. And so uh, bear meat is good, number three. It's worth eating and it's worth yeah. keeping. So I better get busy. Got a lot to process. Joe, luckily he processed It is annoying. Joe processed a lot, but now they are busy with guests again, so he sent out the rest on a back flight. Alyssa's bringing it here to me, and we're gonna get it taken care of. All right, guys, so I've got one clean hand holding the handle of the knife and one dirty hand. I'm not gonna get too close. I have no interest in showing you all the details, but there is uh, one of the bare legs cut up. I have got some roast. Let's see, I've got some uh, roast meat right here. And then the stuff in these buckets is going to be turned into bear sausage. So yeah, I've got a couple more in the ice chest that I gotta get cut up and it's super echoing here. Sorry about that, but everything's going good. All right, here I am again in this echoey garage. Um, I decided I'm going to change my mind and bring you in for a close-up on some of this butchering. It's going well. I've got two legs down, almost, and one to go. So, fair warning, close your eyes if this makes you queasy or if it's not allowed on YouTube, whatever. Ban me for it. Going in for a close-up. So first thing, I'll probably get people saying, Ew, I can't believe you'd kill an animal, right? Number two, I'll probably get those pro hunters that say, oh, you uh, you don't know how to butcher game to save your life. That, that in fact is true too. <laughs> but anyways, I've got enough for roasts. I'm going to cut a lot of this up and then a lot of this is going to get turned into sausage. So I want to go to a store and get some um, sausage seasoning and get ready to throw this piece in the garbage. What's ew about it? What do you think? <laughs> that is disgusting. Well, don't look in that bucket. Yeah. Well, it's too late. All right, wrapping up the bear butchering Very segment. Hard. All right, guys. <clears throat> Meat's all cut up. Maybe I'll video a little bit when we get grinding it into burger and sausage. Um, but we'll just end this video with another load up to Talkeetna. This is getting sent out on the float plane this morning. And I just, uh, I didn't really know how I was gonna sign out the video, but then I realized that Joe's video showed that the bear got into the watermelon, along with a lot of other stuff. So, it just seemed appropriate that I sign off this video By letting you know I'm sending out another watermelon. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you later. The Monte Brothers. <laughs> oh, yeah, real quick. Um, we always get these hefty totes, they're super nice. They, uh, they got lids that dome up so you can actually fit more than you think. <laughs> Novel idea. And then uh, towels were on sale at Costco. So if you visit our lodge, and you're drying yourself after a shower, you're like, wow, where did these fancy things come from? Did these get ordered from like some exotic country? It's the, from the land of Costco. So just to answer that question. And then Alyssa is thinking ahead here. 
oh it's mirrored it's reversed um, getting size 2 that bow will probably wear sometime around September October so we're not um, using these we are sending them out while we still can use the float plane thinking ahead of what we will need months from now that's a uh, it takes some skill it takes some practice to start thinking that way but thinking ahead all right bye again